do steroids make you look older? And please cover steroids PEDs as well as regular well done TRT. PRT and hormone optimization channel. I was on the channel before, so I've been following the channel, watching it every now and then. So be sure to check them out. Consider subscribing, hit that notification bell, and you'll be on your way. Do steroids make you look older? Okay, there's a couple avenues we can approach with this. Androgens, all steroids or steroid hormones, with the exception of female dominant hormones, okay, are going to be androgenic. And androgens like testosterone and other PEDs that people use for performance purposes, whether it be bodybuilding or athletics in general, are going to have an androgenic effect. That, that means they're going to make you more masculine. Visually, we associate masculinity or features of masculinity, like increased muscle, uh, more square jawline, perhaps, more defined facial features, um, you know, size, lower body fat. We associate this with slightly older men when we're looking at young men. For example, you don't expect a teenager to look like a bodybuilder because they haven't fully finished developing. We also don't anticipate to see this in older men in their 50s, 60s, and 70s. So it may take someone who's slightly younger and make them look like they're maybe 28, 30, 35. But if you are 40, let's say, or 45, then the aesthetic portion of that is not really going to go into effect. Will it aid you in terms of actual physiological aging? So this is interesting. And I looked into a study recently that suggested that, and we know that all steroid hormones act on the nucleus, specifically on the RNA of the cell in order to promote protein synthesis. And to simplify this, if we think of protein synthesis as the engine of the cell, even though the mitochondria produces the energy, the nucleus produces the RNA, which then produces protein via ribosomes, uh, endoplasmic reticulum gets folded up, Golgi apparatus, the whole nine. I'm not going to get into that, but when the RNA has to produce protein in order to be utilized in the cell and then exported to other tissues, the process of that, think of that as the cylinders in your engine. The more miles you put on your cylinders and the more you rev your engine, the more efficient it is going to run in terms of producing output. So you're going to get more in a shorter period of time but your engine is not going to live as long. Your engine will age prematurely. So when I ramp up the RPM and I increase the production of the factory, the wear and tear on the machinery will be greater. So if my machine is designed to last 80 years and I'm now asking it to work faster and do more work, it may last 70 years. Now, if you get really into the gene aspect, of DNA, RNA, et cetera, there is something called telomeres, which are the ends of the strands, the helix strands. And some science I've read says that when the telomeres begin to unravel and the strands begin to shorten, that is the beginning of cellular death. And the cell is not able to regenerate as quickly or as efficiently as it once did. And that is why we start to see wrinkles as we age and we start to degrade the quality of our organs and we don't repair and heal as quickly as we did because our ability to regenerate new tissue is diminished. Some of the studies, and they were fairly inconclusive because I don't know how much this has been studied really, but some of the studies that I've read suggested that there may be a correlation. And again, it's still inconclusive, but it may be a correlation between increased protein synthesis rates and the degradation of telomeres in your DNA strands. And if that's the case, then we can hypothesize that an increase in protein synthesis by increasing androgens or steroid use while giving us a desired result in a shorter period of time may actually shorten the amount of time that our cells have on this planet to work efficiently. We don't know for sure, but that is the best hypotheses I could present to suggest that there may be a link maybe between steroid use or androgen use and a shorter lifespan 
or quicker aging, if you will. Now, I would say, as with almost anything, it is probably dose dependent, and that is where I would separate TRT from steroid use. Really, there is no difference other than the social term, but the difference medically is generally the dosage. Okay, thanks. All right, guys. Well, do this next. Click on one of these thumbnails to learn a ton more about TRT and hormone optimization. Thanks.